Hey guys, it's Tiffany from supereasymath.com. Today's math problem of the day says represent this fraction as a decimal. So if I have the number seven over eight, I always remember that I wanna take the top number and move it over to the right. I used to tell my fifth graders that it was a sunny day and it was windy and the top number gets blown over. So that helps students remember that you're always gonna leave the bottom number outside of my division sign and the top number always goes inside because it's the one that was blown over. Then you want to follow the normal long division steps to make this fraction into a decimal. So I'm going to say, can eight go into seven? No, it can't. So I add decimal zero. And then I say, okay, well, I need to bring my decimal up. And that's always the first rule. Whenever you add a decimal zero, you bring your decimal up. Now you ask, how many times is eight going to 70? Well, eight times eight is 64. So that's the closest you're going to get. When you subtract, you get six, and then you need to add a zero and bring it down. So then you ask yourself, how many times is eight going to 60? And the answer is seven. So then you have 56, you subtract, you get four, you get a zero, bring it down, and you have a zero. And then you ask yourself, how many times is eight going to 40? And the answer is five, and that is 40. You subtract and you get a zero. Because there's a zero at the bottom, that means I'm done. There's nothing left to bring down, so I don't have anything to add. So I'm completely done with this problem. So my answer of what is seven eighths as a decimal, that would be zero decimal eight seven five. Whenever there's no number to the left of the decimal, you can always add a zero and it has the same value. Now let's take a look at tomorrow's math problem of the day. See if you can solve it on your own and come back tomorrow to see how I got the right answer. And don't forget, if you need a live math tutor who you can talk to and ask all the questions you want, head over to supereasymath.com and we'll pair you up with a math tutor who's best fit for you.